Hello, everybody. Welcome to Saturday Night Live. This is 60s and 70s night, so I'm all glittered up for the 70s. I've got my hat as well. Hello, Marie. Hi, Jenny. Hi, Francis. How are you all going? Hi, Mum. Good to see you all tonight, guys. How are you going? <laughs> Hello, Alex. Hello. Hello, Amy. How are you? Love in life lessons in the frame. Awesome work. Hey, Patricia. So, guys, you have a great night ahead. Lots of great 60s and 70s songs coming your way. I'm going to do a bit of a, a mix and a mash so you'll hear, you know, a 60s song one minute, minute and then after that song you might hear a 70s. So um, here we go. The first song I'd love to start off with is called Be My Baby. Saturday Night Live. It's a little bit sad tonight because this will be my last show for a few weeks. Um, so yeah, in the coming weeks I won't be performing live on a Saturday night, but stay tuned for when I will be back, because I will. But because everything's opening up again in Melbourne, everyone's out and about, um, perform performances may start back up again. So I'm just seeing what's happening out there in the world and also just having a bit of a rest and also for you guys, because you know, I'm sure you all want to get out and about now and not stay home on a Saturday night. So, um, so the live streams will stop for a few weeks, but I will come back and do them shortly after a few weeks time. So stay tuned. They may not be weekly, but again, we'll see what, what the go is. Um, and also for everyone who's just joined in, 
This is 60s and 70s night, so I'm going to do a 60s song, 70s song, 60s song, 70s song, that kind of vibe tonight. And also, for those of you who are wanting to attend the Black Music Awards, where I am nominated for National Artist for my song, because of you, you can win three free tickets tonight. All you have to do, it's really, really simple. Really, it's actually really simple. All you have to do is private message me and tell me, I want to go to the BMAs. <laughs> and um, if I get more than three people wanting to come to the BMAs, I'm going to do a random draw and then I will be contacting those people with their free tickets. This is an online event only. So you, you can attend literally at home or at work. You can tune in. Catches, for those of you in Australia, it is a working day. It is Monday, November the 9th, between 1 and 3 p.m. Australian Eastern Standard Daylight Savings Time. Um, but if you're in America, then the time will be November 8th, between 6 and 8 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. But again, just give me a holler. Send me a private message right now if you want to come to the Black Music Awards. It's all online. Also, I will be performing because of you on the show, which is so amazing. I'm really excited and thrilled to be doing that. Um, it is an online Zoom event, so anyone can attend. I've, I've got three tickets to give away. So private message me now if you want to come. Awesome. So how's everyone, how's everyone going? How's everyone's week going? For those of you who are in Victoria and Melbourne, what, do you, what have you been up to? Have you been out and about? Did you conquer the Kmart Bunnings lines and things like that? Or did you just kind of go, eh, I'm good? <laughs> let me know. Let me know in the comments below. While you're letting me know, we're going to kick it off with some Buster. It's not a 70s night without this brilliant song, is it? It's on a summer.
you ready, you're going to help me finish off this song. If you know the words, I want you to type it in the comments, like you always do. Remember last show, I want you to get it. You're poor. All right, here we go. How about some hot stuff, baby, this evening? I want some hot stuff, baby, tonight. I want some hot stuff, baby, this evening. Gotta have some hot stuff, gotta have a little tonight. I want some hot stuff, baby, this evening. I need some hot stuff. singing that one last year at the New Year's Eve Red Gala event and um, that song went off because we, we did a 70s, we did a 70s set, that's right, Legends and I, we did a 70s set, fantastic, doing great hot stuff. <laughs> Thanks Marie. Hey Melina, how are you? Where are you guys watching the live stream tonight? Let me know in the comments, are you at home? Are you at a friend's house? Because, you know, us Melbournians, we can do that now, which is fantastic. Um, I also just want to mention quickly that if you love what I do and you'd love to con contribute to this live stream um, and to my music, feel free to head to the virtual tip jar just above in the description above. And um, again, if you want to win tickets to the Black Music Awards, I have three to give away. They will be held November 9th between 1 and 3 p.m. Australian um, Eastern Daylight Savings Time. But if you're overseas in America, then it's November 8th between 1, no, not 1, between 6 and 8 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. I've got to remember all of that. Um, so it's an online event, so anyone can attend. I will be singing my song written by Preston Glass and Joe Mandica called Cause of You um, in front of the committee, in front of all the nominees, and um, it's... It's a big deal for me and I'm so excited. And thank you also everyone throughout the week for all your love on the post when I mentioned that I will be, like that I would be singing the song live. Um, you're all are wonderful and supportive. So thank you so much for that. I really do truly appreciate that. We have a lot of people saying they're watching this from home. Awesome. At home in Nanago. Is that how you say Nanago? Nanago, Queensland? Patricia. <laughs> I'm at home this time. Trish England. Yes. I hope you're well. That's good to hear you're well. You're in bed, Amy. You hurt your back? Is that right? You hurt your back. So you can't move much. No, you've got to move. <laughs> no, it's okay. I've done that once and I totally get it. I absolutely get it. All right. This one here is a 60s classic from Janis Joplin. But I'll be doing a bit of a different version. This is Peace of My Heart. Didn't I make you feel like you were the only man? Didn't I give you everything that a woman possibly can? Each time I tell myself I think I've had enough, well I'm Show you, baby, that a woman can be tough. So come on, come on, come on and take, take another little piece of my heart out, baby. Take another little piece of my heart. Good 
you know that it ain't right Though you never see me cry You know that I cry all the time Each time I tell myself that I can't stand the pain You hold me in your arms Take another little piece of my heart now, baby We'll take another little piece of my heart fan of that one. And Marie, you mentioned it sounds a bit country. You are right, because this one here is the Faith Hill version, but Janice Joplin, obviously, she did the original. So there we go. Speaking of um, Marie, Marie, I know you love this song, you and Alfie. Oh my goodness. Love, 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 love this next one. And I know a lot of you do too. And because it's 60s night, I thought, I need, I need to sing this one because I sing this one all the time at my gigs and um, you guys always love it. So here's my guy. I'm telling you from the 
not to isn't it it's um such a catchy tune that one. <laughs> Ooh, there's a plane outside that's something I haven't heard in such a long time a planes last week I've been hearing them <laughs> all right so we're gonna move now we're gonna move to a 70s classic and um I love Stevie Nicks and Fleetwood Mac and their songs and what they're all about so I'm going to sing to you a Fleetwood Mac song <laughs> called Rhiannon. So if anyone on here is called Rhiannon, this is for you. Rhiannon rings like a bell through the night and wouldn't you love to love her? Takes to the sky like a bird of flight and who will be Oh, 
Rhiannon. Love that song too. They've all got great songs, Fleetwood Mac. <laughs> all right, how you all doing? Hello, Tony. Amy, you love Fleetwood Mac? That's good. I could see you singing along there, so thank you. Patricia loves Fleetwood. Trish, you love Fleetwood. Fantastic. It was a good era back in those days, hey? I mean, so I was told and so, so I can hear with the, with the music, obviously, because I sing 70 songs. Um, sometimes I wish I was born in the 60s and the 70s. I think I would have um, really gravitated towards that kind of music as well. Um, speaking of 70s, here's another 70s classic. And this one here you might hear a lot for anyone who's Australian and probably in Melbourne and maybe around the States. It, this song's played a lot on Smooth 91.5 FM. And every time I hear it, I, I have a smile on my face because I got to meet this artist. And this artist is Frida Payne. And, um, you know, before I met Frida, I knew of this song called Band of Gold and I loved it. And then when I met Frida, I knew I just had to sing it. Um, so I met Frida Payne, little story time. I met Frida Payne when I went to Los Angeles to record my debut album, Life Lessons, which I do have here. This is Life Lessons. So for anyone who is not aware, this is my debut album. You can get it on my website, stephanieangelini.com and um, on all iTunes and Spotify and all online social platforms, music platforms. Um, but basically, yes, I met Frida Payne in Los Angeles at the Federal Bar when I got to sing at uh, one of Preston Glass's CD, CD listening parties. At the time, it was called Dynamic du Duets, Duos, Dynamic Duos, Dyna Dyna Dynamic Duets. I'm getting tongue-tied already. <laughs> And um, Frida Payne was there and I got to sing in front of her. I got to sing A Secret Smile and a cover song that Joe Mandica and I did, a Smokey Robinson cover, You Really Got a Hold On Me. And um, I remember meeting her after the show and she said, um, this girl's got chops for Broadway. And I just laughed because I just thought, wow, what a compliment that is from Frida Payne. So, um, yeah, since I met her, I was kind of like, oh, gee, I'd love to... I'd love to sing with her one day. That would be really cool. Um, like do a duet with her and who knows, maybe even revitalise Band of Gold. That would be pretty fun. Um, so I'm going to sing Band of Gold tonight. It's a great 70s song and Frida Payne's just an awesome artist and she's such a lovely lady too. So here we go. Here's Band of Gold. <laughs>
Band of Gold from Free to Pain. Very, very popular song, that one. <laughs> I can see a lot of you loving that, loving that song. Oh my gosh, we're already halfway through. So guys, just a, um, with the halfway, halfway through mark, just a lovely, friendly reminder that this will be the last live show um, on my behalf for a couple of weeks. Um, so after a few weeks, I will be back to do another live show. Um, the times maybe will be the same, I'm not sure, but just keep an eye out on my social media and on my newsletters. So yes, I do have a newsletter that you guys can subscribe to. Very, very easy. All you have to do is go to Stephanie Angelini and go to the sign up page and then I basically send you emails, free emails about what's going on in my life, music updates and any free promotions that I might have going on at the time. So it is completely free to sign up. You don't have to pay any membership. Um, you just get free emails from me, which is pretty cool. And um, also, if you guys want to attend the BMAs, remember, private message me if you want a ticket. They will be held on November 9th between 1 and 3 p.m. Australian Eastern Daylight Savings Time if you are in Australia. If you're in America, they will be held bet, um, on November 8th between 6 and 8 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Um, so the deal is you will have to attend, so you do have to log in and watch. Uh, the live stream, the live event. Um, and it's cool too, because I'm nominated for National Artist because of you, and um, I will be singing because of you as well, which is very exciting. And I will be singing the song tonight as well. Um, so stay tuned for that. All right, another 70s classic. Now this is a duo. This is a duo song and um, done by a great artists, Chris Norman and Susie Quattro, um, but here we go, this is Stumbling In. Our love is a
missing my jeweler, buddy. A lot of you love that song. Ooh, might have to do a cover of that one or something like that one day. Mm, pardon me. Time of the night, guys. I should do this a bit earlier. <laughs> oh, thank you, Morella. I just caught that message now. Keep the hard work going. Always, always will. Thank you so much, Morella. Thank you for all your love and for Joe as well and for all his love and support. For all of your support. You guys are amazing. Literally all amazing. Thank you. Um, all right. This next one here is, speaking of doing a cover song, I did a cover song. I did a cover song of a Patsy Cline classic. So where's Alfie? Where's my Alfie? Where are you? Oh, there you are, there you are, Alfie, hi. Alfie, this one's for you, buddy. And um, for Trish Ritterford as well, I know you love this song. And um, a few others on here too that love this song. It's called I Fall To Pieces, and guess what, and guess what, and guess what? I've got a surprise for you if you don't know already, but it's on my debut album. So purchase it, you will find I Fall To Pieces on my debut album, um, or you can buy the track also on iTunes. Here we go. <laughs> Maybe you can join Alfie. Alfie's usually got the tissues, don't you, Alfie? So glad you all love that one. That was one of my favourite, oh, still is one of my favourite Patsy Cline songs. It's amazing. All right. 
I am going to crank it up now a little bit with another 60s classic. And I do sing this one a fair bit at my shows because you guys just keep rocking out to it. And it's one from the Beatles. Really need your help with this one. Are you ready? Well, shake it up, baby. Hi guys, if you're watching, hopefully it won't be too long for that. <laughs> it's always nice to do a, um, you know, a bit of a twist like this. All right, so I am debuting for the very first time on my live show a very, very important song to me. And it is an important song to me because it is my favourite song in the whole entire world since I was like six years old and since my father introduced me to Kate Bush. And she came out with Wuthering Heights in the 70s and it was number one for weeks, 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 weeks. And um, it hit the world by storm because it was such a different song. So... I'm going to be singing Wuthering Heights to you all tonight for the first time. Um, so I'm really excited. But this one here, I'm not going to be doing, you know, her version. It's a bit of a different version. But it's still the same song. So I hope you really enjoy this one. And I know I'm really excited to sing this song to you. So if you guys are Kate Bush fans, you'll, you'll, you'll know this song, Wuthering Heights. Actually, let me know in the comments below if you remember Wuthering Heights. And... Um, how crazy or what people went nuts for this song. All right, here we go. Yes, you. 
my favorite song in the whole, whole, whole world. I just love everything about it. I love the story. I love how Kate sings it, and I love the instrumentation behind it. I just, it all works and it all fits. So you guys heard it here first, guys. A debut on my live stream. There you go. Whew. Did you all like Wuthering Heights back in the day when it came out? One day I actually might attempt Kate's version. It goes, I don't know why they... No, it's a bit higher than that. It's like, I don't know why they... There you go. A bit higher than that. <laughs> All right, guys. Speaking of favourite songs, I want to sing you another one of my favourite songs because this song here has brought me so much, um, so much joy this year in particular. And... Um, Oh, I'm getting emotional thinking about it. Um, and it's brought me to be a National Artist nominee at the Black Music Awards this year. And the awards are coming up very, 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 very soon. It's like a week and two days time and I'm so excited. Um, and I get to perform, I get to perform this song live through like this, <laughs> through everyone. So, um, Again, guys, if you want free tickets, I've got three, literally three to give away tonight. Private message me. I haven't seen any of my messages yet, so I could have 10 of you asking me for tickets. In that case, if I do, I'm just going to be doing a, a, like a random draw, you know, on the internet as you do. Um, and then I'll let you know if you're one of the lucky ones that receive a free ticket. Um, but this song here has brought me so much love and joy in my life, especially during this awful time this year with what has been going on and um, you know we can only fingers crossed that you know I take out the award for, for being a national artist but at the end of the day I'm, I'm just so privileged at being nominated within the the Black Music Film Association to be nominated is just amazing so thank you to them if they're watching tonight thank you so much to Andre Pittman from Enthron Records and uh, Rain Jackson from Climax Corporation, Rick Warren, um, President, and um, yeah, and Universal Music Distribution Group. You guys are amazing and doing wonderful things with that song. And you know, we wouldn't have a song without Preston Glass and Joe Mandica, the two amazing songwriters. So thank you guys, thank you so much for believing in me with that song. And um, oh, Amy, this song has helped me this week. How has the song helped you this week? I would love to hear. Well, Amy, I hope this song brings you a little bit more um, happiness tonight as well. And so, so do you guys as well, so to you guys as well uh, watching. So without any further ado, guys, this is Cause of You. And if you love it, it is on my debut album, Life Lessons, on iTunes, on Spotify, on Amazon Music. It's on the Raindrops Loves Holidays album, Volume 2, which I might add is nominated for Best Album as well at the BMA. So that's fantastic. Um, it's doing wonderful things. Here we go.
Ah, oh, those last few lines there. Could I be dreaming? No, I'm not complaining. <laughs> that resonates with me so much right now. Have you guys had fun tonight? Let me know in the comments below. And have you enjoyed Saturday Night Live shows? I am actually, uh, I'm quite sad actually that I'm gonna be taking a few weeks off, but I need a little bit of a rest. You guys probably need a bit of a rest. I wanna see what's happening, if we can go out performing again or, and whatnot. But um, I'm gonna be busy preparing for the BMAs this week. So without any further ado, last chance to get your ticket to the BMAs, just private message me. And um, if there is more than three people, I will randomly select. And if you are one of the lucky ones, you will be notified. I um, also have my virtual tip, char, tip jar at the top, guys. So if you've loved what you heard tonight or even throughout the weeks, feel free to send me a tip and um, a contribution to the live stream and to my music. That would be greatly appreciated. And a huge, huge, huge thank you to everyone that has done that throughout the weeks. You guys literally just help so much. And I'm still here doing what I can do because of, because of your help too. And because you guys keep coming back every single week. So thank you so much. If I could like just literally say thank you for an hour, I probably would. So thank you. Um, and also, don't forget, you can purchase my debut album, Life Lessons on my website, stephanieangelini.com. You can also sign up to my newsletter. All the information is on my website. And um, I will see you guys at the VMAs on Monday between 1 and 3 p.m. Australian Eastern Daylight Savings Time. It'll be Monday the 9th of November. This is for Australian residents only. If you're in America, it'll be your November 8th between 6 and 8 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. If unfortunately tonight you don't get a ticket, win a ticket from me, you can purchase tickets. The link is in the description box above. It's blackmusicawards.simpleticks.com and they're only $10 American guys. So um, would love to literally know that you guys were attending the event. There are so many great artists um, on the night who are nominated as well as myself. So, and obviously I'll be performing live too, which is amazing and so, so exciting. So I will hopefully see you guys then. But until then, guys, um, have a good few weeks off. I'm going to, I don't know what I'm going to do for a few weeks, but <laughs> this week preparing for the BMAs and then the following, I, don't, I have no idea. But I will say this, I will be back. I will be back performing to you guys. I'm just taking a few weeks off, okay? I won't be gone for good. Um, so I will see you back again shortly. I have some plans for the future live streams and some themes, so stay tuned for that. Until then, guys, I want to leave you with um, a song that I always, not always, but a song that I think is a great one to conclude tonight. And it's called, it's called What the World Needs Now. It's from Dionne Warwick. Great hit and um, great artist as well. So thank you so much, guys. It has been a pleasure performing to you all and presenting my weekly Saturday Night Lives to you. And until then, stay safe. And um, what the world needs now is love. <laughs>
and wheat fields enough to grow. There are sunbeams and moonbeams enough to shine. Oh, listen, Lord, if you want to know. Take care, guys. We'll see you soon. Bye.